If you're asked to write the number 2.6 as a fraction, here's how you do it. Let's call it 2.6 over 1. We're just dividing by 1, so it's still 2.6. Now we have the start of a fraction. We need to get this 2.6 to a whole number. And to do that, I see we have one decimal place here. So one decimal place, we're going to multiply this by 10. So we take 10 times 2.6, we end up with 26. And that's our whole number. But we can't just multiply the numerator by 10. We also need to multiply the denominator by 10. That's because 10 over 10 is just 1. 10 divided by 10 is 1. And when we multiply by 1, we don't change the value, just the way it's represented. So 10 times 1 is 10. And now we have a fraction. 2.6, the decimal, equals the fraction 26 tenths. We could actually simplify this a little bit further. These are both even numbers. So let's divide 26 by 2. That would give us 13. Divide 10 by 2. That would give us 5. So now 2.6, our decimal here, it equals the fraction 13 fifths. This is an improper fraction, the 13. The numerator is larger than the 5, the denominator. We could change it to a mixed number as well. Let's see. 5 goes into 13. 2 times 5 is 10 with 3 left over, bring the 5 across. And we could also write the decimal 2.6 as a mixed number, 2 and 3 fifths. And these are equivalent. They are both equal to the decimal 2.6. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.